Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to connect our React application to Update Employee REST API. Well, in previous lecture, we have populated the Update Employee form with the data. Next, once user submit this Update Employee form, then we have to call Update Employee REST API, and then we have to send this updated employee data to the Update Employee REST API, and then Update Employee REST API will store that updated information into the database. All right, great. So let us take a look into the development steps. First step, in an employee service, we need to write a REST client code to call update employee REST API using Axios. Next, we will change employee component dot save our update employee method to perform both add and update employee operations. And next, we will test all these changes. Alright, so let's go to employee service you know, file and let us write the REST client code to call update employee REST API. So let us go to our project and go to employee service dot js file and here let us write the rest client code so let us have export and then const let us give variable name update employee and let us pass the parameters first parameter is employee id second parameter is the employee object so this employee object basically contains the updated employee information and next arrow symbol and then call axios dot put well, in order to make the HTTP put request, we have to use put method over here and then pass the REST API base URL. Next, let us append the employee ID to this URL. For that, let us use a concatenation operator plus and then single quote slash plus employee ID. So this is the first parameter. Second parameter is the employee object. Perfect. Now we have written a REST client code to call update employee HTTP API using Axios dot put method. Next, let us take a look into next step. Next step is change employee component dot save or update employee method to perform both add and update employee operations. Well, let's go to employee component over here and go to save employee method. So within a save employee method, let's write the logic. Well, this save employee method supports both add employee and update employee operations. So let us rename this save employee method from save employee to save or update employee next copy this function name and go to form and go to submit button and here we have save employee handler method name so let us remove this and paste this save or update employee handler method name okay perfect next let's go back to save or update employee method over here and here let's write the logic to support update employee operation as well next within this if condition let's add a one more if condition over here if employee id is present in the url then only we'll execute the update employee logic so here within a if condition just call update employee method from employee service and then pass employee id as a first parameter and then employee object as a second parameter so here what we're going to do is we're going to cut this piece of code and we'll keep at a top and then here the employee object is available so just pass employee object and then call then method and then have a response object over here and then arrow function perfect so here let us print the response console.log and then response dot data perfect so once user submit the update employee form then user have to navigate to the list of employees page for that let us have a navigator and then within a single quote slash employees perfect so here let us also have a catch block so catch and then error object and then arrow function console dot error and then pass error object perfect next let us have a else block within else block let us keep this add employee logic just cut it and paste here perfect and go to this create employee method and here also we can have a catch block so catch and then error object and then arrow function console dot just call error method and then pass error object perfect 
Now we have updated save our update employee method to support both update employee and add employee operations. Okay, next let us take a look in the next step. Next step is test about changes. So let us go back to our project and look at here our application is up and running in a development server. Next let's go to browser and let us test all these changes. So here go to our application and go to employees page over here and let me clear the console and let me click on update button and here let us update the first name from Sanjay to Sanjay123 last name Jada123 Sanjay123 at the gmail.com click on submit and look at here the employee first name is updated last name is updated and email id is also updated it means we have successfully connected our react application with update employer HTPI and update employer HTPI stored the updated employee information into a database all right so let us verify in a database as well so go to mysql bench go to employees table and look at here the sanjay employee first name is updated last name is updated and email id is also updated it means we have successfully implemented update employee feature okay now let us add a new employee and let us update that new employee so here click on add employee button and let us add an employee so let us give the employee name meena last name padare email id meena at the rate gmail.com click on submit now the meena employee is added to the list next let us update this meena employee so click on update button let us give first name as Minakshi and then change the email id minakshi at the rate gmail.com click on submit and look at here the first name is updated email id is also updated it means update employee feature is working as expected in next lecture we'll implement delete employee feature all right yet i will see you in the next lecture